Hi everybody, welcome back. It's Mark here from The Brick Life. Now, as you've seen from previous videos, I have started building my own Lego set. I've purchased the Assembly Square and also the Palace Cinema. So that's two modular buildings down. Now I want to extend my Lego City a bit further. So there is a lot of retired modular buildings that aren't available to purchase on Lego or on Amazon uh, or any other retail stores. So you have to get these second hand, unfortunately. Um, that means that you have to hit eBay and Facebook Marketplace and other sites that sell second hand products. Now I was lucky enough to find this on the Facebook Marketplace a couple of days ago. Now this is the pet store. Um, now I got this for a really good price. So with buying products second hand, unfortunately you're not always guaranteed that the pieces are going to be there. Now when I purchased this off the seller, he did say that it was complete 100%. Now as you can tell from this little clip, I started building this today and unfortunately all the pieces aren't there. Um, so that means that I'm gonna have to hit Bricklink to order them and get them sent and delivered. So that means that we're not going to be building this set today. So the pet shop, I'm going to have to wait until the pieces arrive before I can do that video. So that'll be one to catch next time. However, this time I did manage to purchase this and this was direct from the Lego store. So this is the bookshop. Now, because it is from the Lego store, I'm hoping that there isn't gonna be any pieces missing, fingers crossed. So this set looks pretty cool as well. There are two buildings on there, so it looks like maybe a barber shop and the bookstore. And if you flip around on the back, there's some more images on there for you, some more uh, detail. And it does look like these two are two separate modular buildings, so you can take them apart and swap them around anywhere in your street. So let's get opening. Let's get building. And here's the bookstore complete, guys. So these two come apart, so we can split these both apart. So I'm just gonna take you around the house first of all. So on this one on the street there, you've got uh, one of the minifigures um, that stood on the street. And then you have get the uh, the lamppost as well um, for the street accessory. There's a couple of flowers in the garden at the front there. Um, and then there's another minifigure there just waving down and greeting. Um, and then obviously outside you've got like a free bay window, it's got two lights there at the side of the door, 
I do like the way the architecture has been done for the door. I think that's pretty cool. And it's got a number on there, so 107. And then moving up just onto the roof there, so it's purple and white, which I think is nice. It goes well together. Um, and then on the top is just the actual roof itself, which is pretty dull. There's not much up there other than the, the chimney. Um, now, if we just take this apart, so I'll take the top section off. Now, the top section comes off in two parts for this one. There's the front and the back, which I'll show you guys shortly. So, yeah, if I take this off, then you can get into the basement here. So, as you can see, there's um, like a mouse trap there. You've got some scissors and maybe a bag of soil, perhaps. And then just over here in the corner, you've got um, some ladders, uh, which stay on there. And then there's a little door accessory at the back here, which you can see. So obviously they can get inside into the basement. And um, the back garden's just got a little flower patch, a little um, vegetable patch there in the back garden. Um, yeah, so let's put the next floor on and show you around the floor of the house. So it's got a bright blue door at the back. Um, and then if we just go inside, so there's um, a dresser there with some um, Lego pieces in there, which resemble like cups and pots. You've got a fireplace and a, a tile piece on the side there. So there's, um, there's a picture there, newspaper, some coffee, tea cups, and a, a teapot. Um, and then just swinging it round. So in the corner here, you've got a, um, a hat. A coat hanger, a hat, and then you've got the umbrella hanging up there as well. There's a, a little door there into the basement. Um, and then there's obviously the stairs up to the next floor. So the next floor comes in two pieces. So I'm going to show you guys the back first of all. So let's just pop this on. And if I spin this round. So this has just got the balcony on the back. And there's a window there, obviously the skylight. So when they're going up the stairs, they can have that window open and closed. Couple of flowers there on the balcony. Nothing really special at the back there. But I do like the way that this obviously comes apart, the, the top bit in two sections. So let's just flip this round and put the uh, the other section on. And I've just knocked off the lamppost. Um, and then we'll take the back bit off so you can see inside here. So this is the bedroom. So obviously just leading up from the stairs, you get into the bedroom. There's um, a bed, the uh, set of drawers, you get a vase and a lamp, and then another picture on the wall there, another tile piece. So that's pretty awesome. And then let's just pop that on top there. We'll spin that one round. And then that's the house done. So we'll take a look around the bookstore now. So obviously you can notice the, uh, the tree that's outside at the front. Um, on the tree you get some leaves, um, and then there is a little pigeon that sat on the branches there with a nest. Um, I've decided to put the um, toy airplane that you get with one of the minifigures inside the tree so it looks like it's stuck. Um, you've got the little boy there on the floor that's obviously wanting to get his little toy tree back. You've got a, a minifigure here who's got a Moby Brick book in his hand, which I think is pretty funny. Um, he's obviously got flowers in his hand. And if I just move this minifigure, there's like a book um, stall outside uh, the bookshop. It's got Once Upon a Time on the tile piece there. Um, so let's just pop that little minifigure kid back on there. Um, so the bookstore comes, there's three floors for this. Uh, it comes apart in four pieces. So let's just take this all off for you. So you get the back of the roof, which doesn't have anything on it. It's just the back of the roof. Um, so I'll show you guys around that. So this is just for the top bedroom. So you get a bed there, you get a, a reptile case there. So I'm not sure if you can see that inside the case, um, but that's there, reptile tank. There's not much else in the bedroom there other than those two. And then obviously we've got the stairs going down to the next floor. So let's take this off. And then if we go down to the next floor, so this is like a seating area and a reading area. They've got a grandfather clock. You've got a table next to the chair there with a a minifigure cup on, a lamp, um, and then just at the back of the building, you do get this nice little balcony area, this little terrace area. There's a little table there, two chairs, um, and then also an, another minifigure mug as well. And then let's take this section off. And that brings us to the ground floor. Now the ground floor actually has a little balcony on, so when you come down the stairs, um, this is the shopkeeper owner, so she stood on the balcony. Um, you get a little book stand here in the corner and if you just go further down the stairs there you've got a bookcase so there's lots of books on there you've obviously got the main door that opens and closes 
um, which is then just in the corner here you've got the till and the checkout um, so that is the review of the bookstore complete so I'll pop this all back together And that's the bookstore complete guys. Now, I do like the fact that these two are small mini modulars, so you can obviously put them two together or split them apart, depending on how you want your city. You don't have to have them uh, next to each other. But considering my city is still growing, I think I'm gonna keep these two together for now. And then maybe down the line somewhere, probably split them up and put them elsewhere. Um, and obviously I've got assembly square, which is in one of my previous videos. Make sure to check that out if you haven't. Um, so I'm just gonna pop these all together. And there's my city so far. Make sure to let me know in the comments below if there's any modular buildings you think I should get next. I hope you've all liked today's video. If you have, make sure to give us a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon as well to stay up to date with all my latest videos. I'm definitely going to be expanding my city, so make sure you do subscribe. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.